Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back and today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of brand spanking new mob softener designs that use a very interesting concept. Essentially, we are going to be getting Mother Nature to deal the final blow and kill these mobs off, which may sound a little bit strange because Generally speaking, when a mob dies due to the environment around it, the player doesn't get any XP because it's not the player's fault. However, if a player punches a mob and then within 5 seconds the mob somehow manages to kill itself, either by walking off a cliff or sitting on a cactus or jumping in some lava, then the player will get XP because they are considered a bit of a contributor. Now this is brilliant because this means we can use that in a mob softener and that is what we are going to be doing in today's episode. So let's begin. Now this first design that we're going to be taking a look at is extremely simple and it is just as easy to use. So as you can see, we have got ourselves a bunch of zombies and a button here. Now all we have to do is throw our splash potion and then hit the button and you will see the lava gets dispensed and all of these mobs die and then we can get ourselves some fresh XP, which is pretty good. For anyone that may be wondering, no, none of the XP gets burnt by the lava, but it probably is a good idea to turn off the button just as they all die, because, you know, sometimes these kind of things can happen. If you are standing right here, then there is a chance the XP will go upwards. A really good way to fail safe against it is to be standing down here, so all of the XP comes down and out. But anyway, let's take a look at how to build it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create yourself a holding pen. I like mine like that. I think that looks pretty good. Then down at the bottom, you want to place a a sign, a dispenser on this back wall here facing into the pen and then place a lava bucket in that dispenser then you just want to place a block with redstone dust there and then a button on this block and you can see that there we go there's our lava on and lava off it's as simple as that. I'm going to make the assumption that you have got mobs flowing in from the top going down a pipe and into this tube and you are going to want to stop the mobs from floating upwards because that does mean that your XP will get burnt. So a good way to do that is just to place a torch on this block, a sticky piston here and then a transparent block here just to stop the suffocation and then when you hit this button you will see that it opens up, all of the mobs can flow down into this little chamber and then they have got a roof on top of their heads which means that they can't float upwards in this lava so nothing should get burnt. But as far as I'm concerned that is that one done. Now the second design is very similar to the first in the way that we use the same mechanics and we use lava to do it. However, it is not as complicated. It doesn't use any redstone or dispensers or pistons. It is very simple. Lava bucket and a couple of signs. But it is more of a kill it as they come kind of deal. Instead of splash them with a splash potion then push them all into lava, you sort of have to stand down at the bottom and punch them in. But anyway, this is how it works. So we have our zombie here and then we punch him. He goes into the lava and you can see we get ourselves some fresh XP and then when we do the same thing again, look, we'll just keep doing it and we will keep getting ourselves some of that nice XP. Let's just keep doing this here. And there we go. Now I'm going to make the wild assumption here that most of you don't require a tutorial, but for those of you who do, you just want to go right around the edge, placing a too high wall, just going right way around like this and all the way up to there, missing out this block. Then you just want to place iron bars in each of these spaces. You won't be able to get through, and neither will the zombies. You do have to watch out for baby zombies, though, because they can be pushed through, but they won't go through on their own. Anyway, you just want to place a sign here and a sign here with a lava bucket like this, and that is you done. Now, this is where the mobs are going to be flowing in from, so you can see that if we place a little fake tube here, this is where the tube will be, and they will fall into there. You will be standing out like this, and you will punch them into the lava, they will die and you will get their sweet, sweet XP. So that is that one done. Now I know that generally speaking in these quick and easy type videos, I do three different designs, all of which showcasing roughly the same concept, but doing it in different ways. And the final one I was going to do was full damage. However, that is very big and very clunky. And there are better options than that by far. One of them being my good old tiny mob softener. This is one of my favorite videos on the channel and it is just an absolutely brilliant design if I do say so myself. So I'm going to put a link to that on the screen and also in the description so that you can check that out for yourselves. But unfortunately that is all I've got time for for today ladies and gents. So if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.